If you've just installed iOS 11.3, you'll find that Xcode 9.2 does not build for that. You need Xcode 9.3. And if you install Xcode 9.3, when you finally do build it, you'll find that Vuforia's camera system is broken. So here's how to fix that so that you can build on your current Mac a version of your AR portfolio apps or anything using Vuforia for iOS 11.3. What you're going to need to do is find the magic folder for the iOS 11.3 files that's hidden deep inside Xcode, and you're going to need to copy it into an older version of Xcode. And then you're going to need to build from the older version of Xcode. That folder, the magic folder, is located here. Applications, Xcode, App, you can basically follow this. And here's how you find that. Let's say that you have Xcode, you go find Xcode in your applications folder. You go to show package contents and then contents and then developer and then platforms and then iPhone OS and then device support and it's right here. Okay? That's the that's the one that we want. So keep that in mind. Maybe just leave this window open. I have a copy of the window open over here. The next thing you're going to want to do is grab an older version of Xcode. iOS developer account. Download. Scroll to the very bottom. Click on See More Downloads. Scroll down and find Xcode 9.2. This is what we need. So we'll download this one. It's going to download a weird file called a XIB file. It's a type of zip file that's encrypted and secured. Basically just double click it and it will unpack it. Once it does that, we, I want you to rename it Xcode space 9.2 or really anything. You just need to make sure that it's not named the same as your regular copy of Xcode and then drag that app into the Applications folder. And then you'll have the Device Support folder open from earlier. We want to find the exact same path inside the new Xcode. So, easy way to do that is to expand this and make sure you have the um, setting open here at the bottom, the path bar. If you have the path bar open, you can see the exact path to it. So we want to find the same thing here. I'm going to go here, show package contents. It's in contents, developer, platforms, iPhone, device support. And I've already done this step. So uh, all you have to do though is copy this and paste it over here so that you end up with this folder in here. It's only 6.5 megs. So that process looks like this. Click, drag. But this one little folder is what's causing the problem. You don't have this on your 9.2 install. So now that we have this installed, we can build anything we want using 9.2 and it will build for the 11.3 iOS. And that's it. That's all you have to do. So make sure that when you build, you open this version of Xcode and not this one, and then make the build from the 9.2 version. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you very much.